Glory, Shalom, Shalom. All right. Giving all praises, glory, and honor to you. How about Hashem? Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Kakodash. All right, double honor to our apostles and our elders, a great millstone who rule well. And um, peace and salutation to all you all came out there preaching the truth about the four corners with truth and sincerity in your hearts. For the love of the God. All right, it's the brother Shamaria. Hashem, Yahweh Yahweh All right, this is Jim S. Indiana. Coming at you with another lesson. All right, and it's going to be a uh, cut dry, simple to the point. You know, when you look at this world around you, the world that we living in, man, it's full of uh, it's full of deceit, it's full of lies. All right, and one and one one thing that's also full of is folly. All right, when you go into that word folly, it means foolishness. All right, and these people love to be fools. It's idolized in this society, man. God. Being a fool, being a being a, a, a imbecile. Is idolized in this in this uh, society, man. That these people look forward to doing these things because they 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 see gratitude or attention yeah. or whatever the motive be, may be. All right, and, yeah. but this is all of the scriptures. Hey, it's funny he said that because before I left, you know, uh, before I left uh, Indianapolis, I went to go see one of my Nigerian uh, Nigerian guy I work with. Well, he don't work at my company no more. He he went somewhere else, and he needed a, a tire for us. You know, he's he's new. To the country and stuff and working. That's so I told him. I said, I'll take you to get a tire, man. And he, uh, we were sitting there. And, you know, we always get into a conversation and stuff, man. And as we were talking, there was some little nigglets, some niggas over there in front of this complex just talking. And he's like, man, why, why is this people like this? What? And he was just wondering. He was asking good questions. I said, man, you, you ask, you ask good questions. I said, I said, I said, but it's a reason for all of this. He said, listen, just listen to them. Listen, they, and their talk is empty. Bro, he was, bro, he was cutting it. I was like, he was like, because they weren't talking about shit, bro. And they were just making more, just fucking talking literally about nothing. Uh -huh. He says, you see how we're over here talking? I have to try to solve the problem. Let me get a tire. And, you know, you, you going to help me get signed up for DoorDash? Listen to what they say. They say nothing. Bro, I was sitting there tripping like, damn. Because it's true, you know, man. Because yeah. it's true. Because he's not from here. And he said, you know, he said, man, this place. You know, he hated he came to America, bro. He said, you know, because he told me when he seen America on TV, you know, everybody in his country thinks America, it looks like heaven. He said, it looks like it's, you can come over here and just do do whatever and, and, and get on, you know. He even see, he even see, uh, thank you. Uh, he even see the deterioration of his people, cause he noticed how his people come over here. Some of them start they. Uh, well, he got a friend that, that fucking smoke cigarettes, and he, he be talking. He be falling out his face. Said, "Why? Why did you come over here to do this? You, you was not smoking before here. Well, you come here to smoke." <laughs> he be. Yeah, he said a lot of his friends falling out with him. Man, he got another friend that fucking love pizza. You know, he said he come over here. What the fuck, man? You eat this bullshit? <laughs> this food is not food. You know, we are, we cook. We cook our food. He, he got a Filipino wife, and, and they, they're they on, on a day, his day off. They'll cook three or four meals, bro. I, I thought that shit was smart. I said, like, damn, that's that slick. They'll cook three, four, two or three different meals, and they package it all up and freeze it. Mm -hmm. So they had to eat. He, they don't cook every day during the week. And I was like, man, that, that bro, that, that's smart. Sure. You know? And, and, like like you were saying, you no know, folly is just nothing but bullshit here. And we, if you, it's like you know, uh, you come from a uh, <clears throat> say if you go to a uh, uh, somebody's house that's a gamer, and you you're not into playing uh, playing a video game. Well, you're gonna be like an outcast. You go you're gonna be sitting around and everybody's talking about you. That shit sounds foreign or, or it's bullshit to you because you're not interested in it. Sure. And that's how it is with us in the, in the, in this truth. You know, we can't we can't jail with a lot of bullshit. That's why we, we basically uh, uh jail with each other, man. You you know, you wanna make occupy your time with, with brothers, man. And and uh you know, with the scriptures, you know, watching a documentary or something like that. The world don't do them things, man. You know, even at, at lunchtime, you know, I, I mentioned something or somebody be talking about something, and I said, Oh yeah, I sent a documentary on that and blah 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 and I'll comment and bro, it'll be like crickets. Motherfuckers mm -hmm. can't even fucking understand documentary uh, 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 shit i seen empire you know they'll say some you'll be like god damn it's an awkward moment because motherfuckers don't do shit but bullshit folly man yep. 
All right, go ahead, man. I'm, I'm no, Kyle, they, uh, because man, they, I, I, I went through it myself. You know, um, I've actually had people tell me, "Why you always got to make a conversation heavy? Not everything got to be so deep." <laughs> I want to. Sometimes I just want to laugh. Sometimes I want to talk about <laughs> silly things. And when you go into the word folly, it means silliness, man. Right. These people love silliness. Why? All right, I'm gonna get into that later. I'm gonna get to why they love folly later, but uh. Back to the scripture, it says, Folly is set in great dignity, mm -hmm. and the rich sit in a low place. And uh, the reason why folly is set in great dignity is because the rich sit in a low place, man. All right? The rich, rich how? All right? Hey, when you read Revelations, the, actually, I'm going to get it. When you read Revelations, the second chapter in the ninth verse, it says, I know thy poverty, but thou art rich. So how does the Lord know our poverty if we're, if we're rich? Revelations two and nine. I know thine works in the in thy in the tribulation and the poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them. Can you get uh Proverbs sixteen sixteen? Uh it says, But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but of the synagogue of Satan. All right, now originally this scripture was talking about of people of our own kind. I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews, the ones that say they keep the truth, but said, but are not, but do not keep the truth, but are uh, of the synagogues of Satan. This is talking about not these so-called, it's not these so-called white people, not these cause arts, but they was talking, this original scripture was talking about niggas of our own complexion. Mm -hmm. All right. So not all of this. So these niggas out here, man, they, 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 they love folly, man, you know? But back to that, back to that one point, it says, "I know thine works in tribulation and thy poverty, but thou art rich." So how are we rich? Because we have the knowledge of the Lord, man, and that makes us rich. You got that proverbs? Yeah. Um, yeah, but that's a, that's a prophecy too, though. That's you know, that, that's. They, it, they, it's double fold. Yeah, but, it's double fold. Yeah. But when Yahweh was saying, he yeah. was speaking to the different churches. Kind, that's kind, what I was bringing up. Right, right, right. Uh, uh, this is Proverbs sixteen to sixteen. He said, "How much?" Better is it to get wisdom than gold, mm -hmm. uh, and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver. Kind. Hey, you know what? And that's another thing. These niggas don't even know. You know, niggas are actually they so fucking been so dumbed down. Niggas will actually take their their scrap gold and go sell it for fucking cash for 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 fiat currency. You know what I'm saying? They they even took they take valuable something as valuable as gold and go sell it for 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 a worthless piece of paper. That I mean, you talking about folly, nigga? I'm like, I will go fucking go collect aluminum cans and go sell them motherfuckers before I go take my gold somewhere and let a motherfucker. You know, I mean, I ain't seen motherfuckers. Oh man, I got these gold rings. I'm about to go. We're gonna sell these, man. You know, I ain't got no money. What the fuck? See, I, I be collecting that shit somewhere in a little thing, uh, corner or whatever. I mean, that's, it just don't make no sense. And it's these motherfuckers right. got these other nations got to laugh at us because they got on every little uh, air, air, uh, uh, Ishmaelite store, they got we buy gold, we buy gold. It don't even dawn on a nigga. They're like, damn, why, they, why everybody buying gold? Yep. And they the niggas that's selling this shit. Yep. Hey man, these niggas crash for lack of knowledge, man. Yeah, you know, but uh, yeah, man, riches are riches are true. Riches are really knowledge, man. Knowledge to know because once you know, no one can take it away from you. That's right. When you actually have physical riches, somebody can come in and just uh, and take them and thief uh, uh, rob you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. A thief can come in and rob you, or a moth can get to it and put holes in your money, eat through it. You know, and then um. But with knowledge, you know, no one can really take it from you. No one can ever take it from you unless they kill right. you. You and know, that's that's a uh, pro that's a uh, proverb of the world. They say knowledge is key. You know, uh, uh, you can't take once you get to the knowledge of something, can't nobody steal that from you. Matter of fact, certain things uh, they got a little saying. They say, "Shit, if I tell you this, I got to kill you." Because mm -hmm. <laughs> the knowledge, you know, because it's knowledge. Yep. I'm going to read the second part, too. This is just go to it. It's beautiful, too. Okay. It says, the highway of the upright is to depart from evil. 
Yeah. He that keepeth his way preserveth his soul. Yeah. All right. And evil is, is, is it could be it could be folly, man. Now we have we have a little folly, but we have like righteous folly, man. You know, we'll go do like, man, look at these two thirds, man. This nigga look like such 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 such. You know, something like that. Yeah. You know, but but like niggas conversation be these uh, niggas, man, bro, I seen a clip, a news clip. Niggas was fighting on who made the best Kool-Aid. These niggas got in a fucking shootout. For real, shot each other. Oh, wow. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, it's not surprising because niggas is, is stupid like that. Yeah, you like can you get said, that, that Jeremiah. That yeah, I'm finna, yeah, I'm finna get in there. Hey, uh, man, niggas are dumb, man. Niggas are stupid, bro. Hey, uh, but it says, finally, it's setting great dignity. And the rich sit in a low place. See, those that are well, the those that have the knowledge are sitting in a low place, man. See, when you're in a group of friends and they all consisted about their folly, and then you the one that's rich knowing the knowledge of the Lord, and then you say something pertaining to that knowledge to show your riches, you sit in a low place because you're you're in the midst of folly, uh, folly man. Yeah. That's yeah. why that's why the scriptures say be not equally yoked with non-believers, yeah. right? Right. You know. And, and you know what else? It, it, it'll, it'll be revealed too. Because the two guys, because I, I, I get like that at my job. Mm -hmm. Now, the one guy that I, I kind of cool with, I, 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 he, he be all right. But then our boss is, is full of folly. He, he's a big-ass kid, big old-ass kid. And he make jokes and shit and you know, always joking about shit. And the dude that I'm so-called cool with, he'll, he'll get him as a side man. And the guy that I'm cool with, he's like fucking friends. Only reason I, I kind of, one of the reasons I kind of don't, like him and I won't let him get too close to me because he's he's friends with every fucking body. Everybody, every other nation, all that shit. He just like, you know, likes everybody. I'm like, nah, I can't you know, I and I we kinda got in a conversation and I, I quote a few scriptures or whatever and he said, So so you don't you don't you don't deal with it? I said, I I deal with him. I deal with people accordingly. I mean work. I deal with them accordingly. You know, but as far as like, after I go leave out of here, no, I'm never gonna go over their house and fucking have a beer and kick it with them. Hell no, mm -hmm. I don't do that. Oh man, that, that ain't cool, bro. I said, but well, shit, that's you. You know, we, we two different people, man. You know, I just don't get down. But uh, the two guys, now he so called cool with me. We cool. We deal on one level, but then when it comes to folly, he joins up with the the, the folly nigga. So you know, it, it, you 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 sit in that low place and you feel it when you feel it when you know when certain situations take uh, occur, yeah. you feel it. You be like, damn, you know, this nigga. I thought this nigga was cool, but, but you you, you got to take the low road. Just be like, matter of fact. So now what I do is when I feel it coming on, I disperse. Hey, I gotta go get this done. I I dip before I and and, and you know what? And, and really, on a on a spiritual level, you take their power because now they have no audience. They got each other. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? See, yep. about, uh, that, that goes back to like you know, three's company, three, uh, two's company, three's a crowd. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you got a crowd, motherfucker gonna joke, but you 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 leave, and it's just them two. Yep, they gonna laugh at each other, or either or, or they go, you know, it, you you take the power from them, man. Make a fool of each other. Yeah, yeah, they gonna be folly in the weed with each other, and you know what? It's so crazy because when I when I do that, they get into it. And that one, he, he'll come back, man, man, he over here telling me I got to do it. Because the one guy, is our, he's our sub, he's a sub lead. So mm -hmm. really, he's a, he's over us, but he ain't over us. He's just supposed to see that the job is carried out. Yeah. But he gets into it with the other guy that I was telling you about. He gets into it with him when I lead him up, when they by themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't, because they don't, like, hey, man, like the scripture said, the scripture's so beautiful, man. The kingdom can't stand, you know, uh, um, that's divided. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't with each other. They just get get with each other. That spirit, spirits be fucking with them because they get it with each other to to try to uh, have folly with make me folly. Mm -hmm. But I, I take that take that from them and shit when I disperse. Huh. You got some more? Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say this move. Um, they delight in their folly because uh, they can't handle reality. You know, folly actually is a uh, is a is a it's like a it's almost like a drug. Right. You know, because you're going off those and, and endorphins. When you're happy, you send off endorphins mm -hmm. in your receptors, man. It's like it's similar to being drunk or high. Right. You know, so it makes you feel good when you're happy or joyous or silly, acting funny, you know, fo uh, doing folly or foolishness. You feel good in the flesh. It makes your flesh feel good, man. And that's why these people... 
can't handle the real world reality, man. They don't want to hear about what happened on the news. They don't want to hear about who died on the news. They don't want to hear about um, what um, what the what, what the what is the state of the world that they're living in. They don't want to hear about the state of the world. All they want to hear about is folly, things that's fiction. They want to hear about what happened mm-hmm. on Empire. What happened on their favorite TV show last night? What happened to the uh, what happened on the uh, the entertainment games? Baseball, basketball, soccer. What happened on the games? All right, they don't want. They want to know what the weather is tomorrow. All right, they they don't care anything about anything spiritual or rela- relating to um, obstacles in life because they're they're weak. You understand? They're weak and they're prideful, man. Because it's the when it, when you, when you read the scriptures, it says First um, John uh, two and fourteen or two and fifteen. So like it, it says through the love though the uh, you feel some say? Yeah, yeah. I was going to quote the scripture. It's Proverbs 14 and 13, because a lot of people laugh to cover up what, man? To cover up their misery. All right, this is uh, Proverbs 14 and 13. He said, even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful, and the end of that mirth is heaviness. Yep. <laughs> even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful, man, because you, you try to hide that. You know me, man. I I embrace it, bro. Yeah. I, I yeah. embrace the hell. Because, yeah. you know right. what? It makes me stronger. Because, you know what? I look at myself as a soldier. These people look at themselves as, oh, I don't know why I got this life. I don't want it. So I'm going to shape my destiny the way I want it to be. Yeah, right. That's pride, man. Because like I said, in First John 2 and 15, it says what? Uh, all those that are in the world, all right, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father. These people have, but if you if you are worldly, you have the lust of the eyes, you have the lust yeah. of the flesh, and you have the pride of life, man. Right. I got another one. And those all lead to folly. That's right. Huh. There's another one for you to quote what you just said. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 3. Yep. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of, of the countenance, the heart is made, uh, made better. The made better kind. Yep, because so all of the sadness you're going through, man, it strengthens you. So, how you, so, and you know what, hey, man, when you apply the same laws to everything on the face of the earth, you, you grow uh, compatible with things. All right, mm-hmm. you when you when you look at uh produce, all right, when you look at olive oil, when you look at grape juice, when you look at apple juice, orange juice, how you get orange juice? How could you get that juice from that orange without putting pressure on it, right. without putting um uh significant amounts of force to it yeah. and crushing it? Yeah. When you look at your muscles, man, how do your muscles grow? You yeah. rip them apart, yeah. and then they when they repair, yeah. they get that much, they get that much, they get twice as strong. Or three times as strong. Yeah. All right. But how did when you when you cut yourself, it leaves a scar because all those cells, all right, they have you have a more um, you have more cells in that one area than you do in the rest of your body. Right. right. You that's understand? What that's what causes a keloid. scar. Yeah, they call it a keloid. Yep. Yep, they call right. it a keloid. That's what yeah. that's what causes your scar. More cells patched together to heal that specific wound and mm-hmm. then it leaves together it and leaves you know, a scar and guess what it heals it heals even harder yep it's, it's harder than any part of your other part of your skin so nine times out of <laughs> ten you really can't you really can't feel a scar yeah i have a scar on my tongue when i got in a car accident i got a, i got about maybe an inch half of an inch cut on my tongue and when i press my tongue i can actually i can feel that scar you know, I can't. I can't really see it when I stick my tongue out, but I can feel it. I can feel with that, with right. that, uh, with those. Uh, yeah. with, I can feel the leftover. You know, right. Right. so apply that to the rest of your life. If you go through this hell and then you make it out, you know you're going to be that much stronger, stronger than when you were when you went through. A hey, uh, that was a saying. You know, I know Bruce Lee coined it, mm-hmm. but it, it's been going on throughout the generations. And it says, uh, "Pray not for an easy life." Pray for the strength to endure a hard one. You yeah. know, why is that? Because you're going to come out, you're going to be coming out stronger. Right. All right. But these people don't want to be strong. These people want, these people delight in being weak. Uh, you know? Uh, I got that. In Jeremiah, this is Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people are foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. But to do good, they have not no knowledge. No knowledge, right? Because why? Because they haven't been taught knowledge. They haven't been instructed uh, in the in the ways they should go. Like I was telling, uh, I, I, I go by I study refer back to these Nigerians because basically, to tell the truth, they the ones that basically make my job 
uh, bearable because I have conversation with them. You know, they have questions. They like, why are our people like that? Why is it so, you know, why are Americans so, you know, black Americans, why are they, they so, you know, they love the white man like this? You know, because they don't, they, hey, one thing I say about them, bro, they, they have no regard for, no, for either bites, bro. Some of them, some of them be like, man, you know, man, this, this man, this man, they don't know how to talk to people, man. They talk, you know, because they'll tell them. Yeah. You saw a treat of a certain way, man. They'll be like, I am not, you, I'm not a child. You don't have, have to talk to me this way. Yeah. You know, they, they, they be cool with it, bro. And it, it check Esau. Yeah. And then they'll come back and say, man, why why do these people act like we, we are children? Yeah. Why do they talk to us like this? I said, man, because they, hey, it's their kingdom, man. I said, this is why. He said, and, and, and now that lead, I was telling you about I, I was the sub lead. They don't like him. They be like, man, why this this dude, man, he is very, he is very stupid man. He's a stupid man. Mm -hmm. He he jumps for the white man. I said, yeah, he does, bro. Right? God, he's a coon. He do. He's a coon. Yeah, because matter of fact, me and my man, the guy I was saying about, we joker, we uh, we be conversating. We call that nigga uh, Uncle Ruckus. God. You know, because that's what how he acts, man. Yeah. But the Nigerians, man, they 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 make my day go by. Because the questions that they ask, and I, I, I have the answers for them. Then they find out about the scriptures. I be telling them, I said, man, but look, I said, all of the, our, this people, our people are like this by design. It's not, they just, just not like, not like, just, they're just not like this. It's by design that they're like this. Okay. I say, I said, take it from like you. You come from your country. You, I said, all Nigeria, I said, one thing all of you all have in common, y'all love y'all country, but y'all know y'all country is corrupt. So y'all come here to seek better. And you get funny. He said, but then when you come here, you find out that it's not what you thought. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of them be wanting to go back home. They said, man, you know, I got to, some of them come, make the money in America, and they shoot it back to the crib. And then some of them had good, prominent jobs over there, but they, the funds. Yeah. Uh, uh, one Nigerian woman told me that uh, uh, you pay your light bill over there. You might get lights, you might not, because the government is so corrupt. I was like, man. So she said, she said, you know, you know how you, Put the gas in the the machine and it, it makes your electric. I said, oh, you talking about uh, you talking about a generator? Yes, yeah, generator. Yeah, yeah. Those everyone in Nigeria has generator. I was like, what? She said, yes. Yeah, I was like, damn. So you pay your light bill over there. You might they might run service to your house. They might not. This is you know, called a third world. This is called a third world country. It's like a well, it's not 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 Nigeria is actually it's it's it's, it's, it's a city. It's it's it's. But they got corrupt government. Well, this is like North Korea. North Korea actually got real cities. But in their cities, you might go to a restaurant with like a candlelit restaurant. Yeah, yeah. You know, they actually, they cook food on the fires. Yeah, yeah. You know, because yeah, yeah. then the lights are off. Yeah, because see, 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 the government is so fucked up. But anyway, back to what I was saying is like the the, uh, the Nigerians keep my day going, man, because the questions that they ask, man, you know, and they, they ask why are people like this. And I said, well, you know, it's by design, man, you know. White man, the, the government, our, our government helps women. You know, I gave a scenario of, of their government and our government. They asked her why the black women like this. I said, well, well, I, I said, if you have a baby, if a woman have a baby in your country, can she go to the government for help? He's like, no, no, no. Her husband, her family is supposed to help. I said, right. I said, but not here in America. In America, the government gets the woman food, clothing, and, 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 and a place to, you know, food, clothing, and a place to live. All with low low price. He said, they, 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 they all they all do the same thing. They be like, ah. They say, oh, hey. you know, they they make a side noise and say, mm -hmm. like, ah, okay, I understand. This is why she this is why she goes man to man. I say, right, because yep. she can she, she's she's given choice. Liberty, she's given yeah. liberty over here. Yep. You know, and they be like, damn, you know, and I be breaking stuff down to them. They be like, man, you know, and they, guess what? And I, I walk into the lunchroom. And all the whole thing, hey, hey, CJ, CJ, all of them. And people at the job notice it. Like, mm -hmm. damn, what the fuck? Why they like, you know, why they like him so much? Because, see, I, I, I spew knowledge to them. And then I can relate. I can relate. I can make uh, their situation. Uh, you can relate. Yeah. Back, you know, the, the situation. Then I go to scriptures with them. Yep. You know, so they all, they all, um, fist bump, every time I come in, all of them, all of Nigeria is there. You know, I'm like, man, shit, I'm I'm actually there for them, man. Yeah. Shit, cause I, I make the money and shit. Then I do a lot of overtime. They be like, yeah, big money. You you make all this white man's money. I said, well, you know, I said, I try to make it and turn it into something else. I don't want to be here years and years. I yeah. said, they, they try to make you. He said, yeah, yeah, they want you to be here every day, all day. 
just to make this little bit of my say, yeah, yeah, bro. That's yeah. that's how it is. Yeah. You know? All right. I don't want to run off, man, but it this topic could be so vast, man, because the the folly is so it's it's just so blatant. And you no, know it's so plain to see. You know, I mean, you know, you you you'll pop on a, a video or something, man, watch some some folly, man, for a minute or two, and then after a while it becomes like the same shit. Like, oh damn, I seen that video, I seen this, I seen yeah. that. You know, it's the same shit. Jake is getting rich on YouTube videos, man, making little skits. You know, stupid skits or, or stupid scenarios and shit. And the shit, they actually getting fucking paid for that shit, man. Yep. I mean, getting paid. Matter of fact, some of them have, have reached... Uh, they get a dollar uh, every thousand views. They, they done, some of them have reached um, uh, um, um, star status. Uh, a couple of cats is on uh, Nick Cannon's show. They came yeah. off of YouTube. A lot of them overnight, he, overnight sensations and shit, man. Actually, he he purposely promotes those. People. Yeah, right, right. So you got more skit. You got. I think the dudes that made uh, Get Out started like that, didn't they? Mm. The two guys, but I know they do skits because I know he. On, I seen the Obama one. He did. They started off on Mad TV. Okay, okay. Well, they were already in the business, but some of them guys, man, they start off in those skits, man. No, you talking so, about uh, you talking about people like Haha ha Davis, you know, uh, big fella. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got a lady, another lady. Uh, this is uh, Jess with Mess. She come out with all the celebrity news. Mm -hmm. You got these people that come out with these these Instagram videos. Oh, getting, oh, you know, the one little chick that made the pew pew pew, the old stupid ass video. Yeah, and then she made she they fucking trying to make her. Hey, oh. anything to keep our people distracted. Esau will put money behind it, man. You know. Yeah, yeah, and they, they, that folly, and they, they, they what? Hey, go back, go to um, astonishment. We, we, we be being astonished. That's an astonishment, man. Yeah, and a proverb and a bad word. Yeah, it's a bad. You know, man, Jake, Jake, stupid, man. They do. Hey, remember the dude uh, put him in the coffin. The nigga was jumping on the going uh, in the store, yeah, okay. jumping on the niggas uh, on the uh, Arabs goods and shit. And as a matter of fact, one time I think they took his ass to jail. Yeah. You know, they, they, they corrected his ass because he don't make no more of them stupid ass videos no more. They locked that nigga up, man. Kai Kai. You know? Go but, uh, yeah, man, that was the point, man. Probably yeah. a second grade dignity, you know? We can go all day with these analogies, you know? Yeah, Kai Kai. But that was the point. So, you know, you get it, yeah, you know? Yeah, So So, hey, man, hey, man, our, our, our biggest thing, man, we need to do, uh, we, we need to just keep pushing, man. Yeah, uh, you know, hey, uh, my son was sitting off and watched this video, man, because I, I work a lot of hours, man. So I, I, I watch videos what I can, man. But I, that's why I resort back to brothers, man, and my, and, and you know, my, uh, I got a new phone coming, man. So, cause, so this, this thing here is, is garbage, but it, it hits when it wanna hits. So I'm, I'm subscribed to everybody's page, but I don't know how to. I, I guess they controlling my shit, man. I used to get bings when everybody put up videos. Now I I get certain ones and shit. But um, yeah, man, we just gotta keep pushing, man. And press towards the mark, man. And uh, just keep like I said, cause man, the folly is just gonna get get more and more. I mean, it's 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 un it's it's, it's unprecedented how much folly is out here, man. It's just anything. Motherfucker make a video off anything. Not you know, shit walking as fuck walking a damn duck or some shit. You know anything to get attention, man. You know. Yep. Okay. All right. With that, we give all praise, glory, honor to you, Hawa, Bashan, Yahusha, Bashan, Kakadash, the blinds of the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. Be salutation to you, my third preaching the truth about the four corners of the earth, the truth, sincerity, and heart. With that, I'll say shalom. 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 Shalom.